Hello, Shoestring here. I have purchased a new Boltworks power inverter, and we're going to unbox it today and see what we have. This is a pure sine wave inverter. Comes with manual, of course. Cables. Looks like 5 gauge. Remote control. Not sure how much I'll use that, considering how far away the cart may be from me, but it's, it's there. And of course the inverter itself. Let's take it out. See what we have right there. Pure sine wave, 2000 watt. And uh, just for a quick piece of information, as most people know who watch my channel, I like modified sine waves for the price much more than I do pure sine waves. But in this case, I have some devices I'm going to want to run that are very sensitive. So in this case, I am going to do a pure sine wave. But in most cases, a modified sine wave will be sufficient. Uh, let's look what we have. All right, so we have in the back two fans and a connection for the positive and negative cables. And they come with their own bolt and screws. That's good. They don't all do that, by the way. In the front, we have LED display. We'll see what's on that when we hook it up. All right, here we have a ground. We have two receptacles to plug in your devices, two USBs, and it looks like a port here for the remote control. And that may be a power button. It says power. Okay. And we have some light. This over here, by the way, is for is a power block. It's if you want to wire this directly into your house. My 600-watt solar system has an Ames 8,000-watt modified sine wave inverter. And this also has a power block, which is actually connected. Okay, so that looks like what we have, everything that came in the box. It appears to be extremely well made so far. I did a lot of reviews on this. I looked at reviews, and I looked at it in capabilities and its stat sheets. And even though some of the re reviews weren't very good, when you read them closely, it's because most of the time the people who had them were not using it correctly. And it did come out on uh, 2020 Best Inverter List. That's last year, of course. But anyway, I take all this in consideration when I'm researching it. And for the price, this was extremely good. So we're going to hook it up here in a few moments and see how it works. Okay, folks, now that we did the unboxing and looked what was in the box, got it out, we're now going to do the install. I'm going to install it on one of my carts, one of my mobile power stations. I'm going to be connecting it to a Renology. It's a gel 100 amp hour battery. Now, normally what I do is I connect it to the battery, then I connect it to the inverter. But in this case, the manual said do inverter first, then battery. So since I was unwise enough to read it, now I have to do it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the red. And I noticed something else here. Holes of these are two different sizes. So, since the screws are so small, right, I'm going to use the small one. Just something to point out if you decide to do this and you get cables like this, you may want to take a peek. All right, so, going to do positive first. And others will be saying, no doubt, because I would if I was watching this video, that cable is much too long. You lose too much power going from the inverter, but I'm only doing a long one, 
like I do in a lot of my videos, so everyone can see what I'm doing. So the positive's connected. You can see it's a red block, red wire. Now I'm going to do the negative. Same thing, small. Get it on there. There we go. Put the screw on. Okay, just hand tight at the moment because we're just temporarily installing it to make sure everything works. Now positive to the battery. Now if you're going to do this for real, you want smaller cables and you want it set up where you're actually going to be able to use this and move it around and then you're going to want it a little tighter than just finger tight. At the moment, that's what I'm doing. Just because we're going to make sure the inverter works. Then probably in a separate video, we'll test it. Don't want to make these videos too long. Bore everybody. Okay, so that is our install. We're going to come over here, and we're going to turn the button. Let's move this up so you can see it. As you can see, there's a power button right there. I'm going to push it. It comes on. Hopefully, you can see where it says right here, the battery, fully charged, 12.9, and the output, okay, up to 120. So if you have a 110, 120 electrical in your house, which most people do, this will operate it. So it is now installed. It works because it came on. You can see the charge of the battery, how many volts is in there, and it's all connected. Okay, now that we turned it on and we know that it works, what we're going to do is lift it up here again, and we're going to test out the remote. It came with a 15-foot remote. Well, let's not do that too often and break it, shall we? All right. I just put it up here so you could watch. Here's the remote. I'm not going to totally take it apart. What remote? And we're going to plug it in. And we're going to see if it works. All right, in. Now, as you can see, it's plugged in. We have power. All right, on, off. Let's try it. Do on. Okay. Light came on. Shows the level of the battery. And it shows the battery at 12.9 on here. I don't know about that. You'd think at 12.9, every one of these would come on, wouldn't you? Shows the battery level. But we'll leave them, take a look at the manual later and, and get a much better check. Right now, I just wanted to see if it works, if it turns it on and turns it off. And it does. Okay. So now we know that this works. So we'll gently take this back down so we, I don't drop it again because you never tell what shoestring is going to do. Later, we'll do some testing on this, and we'll see how well it's actually going to work. Oh, one other point, which I didn't do. The manual also said to use the full 2,000 watts, you'll need a 200 amp hour battery. So since I don't have any 200 amp hour batteries, what I'll do is I'll get another AGM 100 amp hour and connect them in parallel, one up here, one underneath on the other side of the cart, which will make it 200 amp hours, which is what the inverter manual says this requires. To use the full 2,000, this, of course, will work on other smaller things. Okay, so if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Please like and share. And shoestring out.